This video shows how to configure the SCADA Pack X70 Smart RTU with a RealFlow flow computer. There are three parts to this video. Part one is a quick start guide. It will show how to enable the flow computer in Remote Connect, and then how to search for an MVT and view the current readings in RealFlow. Part two is a closer look in more detail at Remote Connect settings that get configured automatically when RealFlow is enabled. And I'll point out some of the differences when using RealFlow with the SCADA Pack X70 compared to other SCADA Pack Smart RTUs. Part three shows advanced techniques in Remote Connect, such as how to view Flow Computer registers in an object browser, and how to use Flow Computer objects in Logic including how to use alert notifications to do simple control actions such as a well shut-in. The equipment I will use in this quick start guide starts with a SCADA Pack X70. In this case I'll use a SCADA Pack 470. I'll have an MVT that I'll connect to over a serial link using RS485. It uses Modbus RTU protocol. And with my PC, I can connect over Ethernet. And on it, I'll uh, run my RealFlow configuration software using Modbus TCP. There's also Remote Connect, and it uses DMP3 over TCP. Now, if I was to connect to Ethernet 1, it conveniently has a default IP address of 172.16.1.200. To do this, I would have to set up a compatible IP address for my PC. Well, there's another option. I could use the USB port on the SCADA Pack 470. In this case, my remote connect will then use DMP3 USB. Well, how is this possible that we have both Modbus TCP over USB? Well, the USB port on a 470 is actually using IP over USB. It does this by assigning an IP address to that USB port. This is its default internal address of 10.2.3.4. And the driver automatically assigns an IP address compatible at your PC. So let's try the USB connection in this quick start guide. So what will happen first is we will use Remote Connect to enable the flow computer now located in the firmware of the SCADA Pack 470. Then we'll configure the communication ports, particularly for connecting to that MVT. Then we can use RealFlow to configure flow runs and view the current readings. Note that RealFlow is also used to read logs and flow history. And optionally, which we'll see in a later part, we can use Remote Connect to access flow computer registers as objects or access flow computer registers in logic. I'll begin first by enabling the flow computer in the 470. You cannot communicate with RealFlow until you first enable the flow computer using Remote Connect. We'll do that first as well as configuring the communication ports. I have already done a cold boot of my 470 to show what it's like to configure out of the box. Once again, we begin with Remote Connect before we can use RealFlow. I'll create a new project. And I'll select from the device types, I'll select SCADA Pack 470. I'm going to enable the RealFlow flow computer and note that at the same time, it automatically enabled the Modbus IP server. This is for RealFlow to be able to talk to the Flow computer. We're going to use DMP3 over USB. And it'll take a few seconds to create the project. You can see now that the supported applications includes RealFlow Flow Computer. If you did need to enable the Flow Computer uh, after creating the project, you had forgot to check that box, you can always select additional functions, project settings,
and check it off again now. The convenience of seeing it here is much more immediate. You don't have to go to the project settings to confirm the check box is checked. Now we need to check that the COM settings are set up for our MVT search. We're going to use COM1. So just hovering over, we can see that it is set up for Modbus, or we can look at the list here for all three or four serial ports, and it's set up at 9600 BOD and Modbus RTU. If I did need to change the baud rate, I could either click here or click on the terminals and it would automatically open up the folder tree so I didn't have to search. And this is where I could select a different baud rate. If I was using Ethernet instead of a USB connection, I can also see that here's the Ethernet address. And if I need to edit it, I can also click on that and go to change its IP address. All right, we need to write the configuration to the RTU. We first select online while having highlighted the second DTM here. So by default, it's selected already and we select the online button. Now, I cold booted my RTU. This is the same case if you just received it out of the box. It has a prompt for the security lock asking you if you want to use a password or have the device not use a password. You can always add a password later after you finish configuration of the RTU and testing. And it reminds you that here. If you want to add a password in the future, just cold boot or service boot the RTU. I'm now online and I can write the configuration to the RTU. I can now open RealFlow configuration software now that the Flow computer is enabled on the RTU. But before I do that, let's just check the online diagnostics and we can refresh the status here. And we can also adjust the clock if we needed to. You could set it to UTC or to your PC's local time. I'll just resync that while I have it. And we can also refresh the licensing tab to confirm the number of RealFlow flow runs that are licensed on my RTU. And for this particular licensed application, there are no options that apply. Let's save our project now. Save as. We can now open RealFlow. I'm going to begin with the File New wizard. File New. And I'll just select create one run gas flow configuration. I'm going to use the configuration menu to guide me through the steps of configuring. First, I'm going to select the setup. This is where I select what kind of device the flow computer is running on. So down near the bottom, we have the X70 SCADA packs and I have a SCADA pack 470. I'll give it a name. Returning to the configuration menu, now I'd like to look at flow computer information. I'm not expecting this to succeed because I haven't yet set up the communication port talking to the RTU. So we'll go to the communication settings. This is the PC's settings. Remember, we're going to use USB, but to do that, we actually are told to use Modbus TCP in this case. See the information here. To connect to an X70 RTU over USB, select Modbus TCP and then use the local IP address 10.2.3.4. Modbus TCP, and I select the IP address 10.2.3.4. I can now check the flow computer information and I can see there's my 
10 runs available and none are currently active or configured. And if I want to see more information, here's the note that I could use the status licensing or logic tabs as we've already looked at in Remote Connect. Next on my list, a sensor configuration. So we're going to use the MVT and we're going to search for it. So I highlight the first sensor and select search. And we're going to overwrite whatever's there already. It's not an Ethernet connection, it's a serial connection, and we're going to use COM1. So I'll begin the search, and it's found it quite quickly. It's a 4102. I'll accept that. Next under configuration after sensor is the flow run. I'll configure my first of 10 flow runs. Beginning with a flow run ID, I'll give it an ID and now I'll select my sensor for differential pressure. Now we will look at the other option of a database object in our last video part 3 but for this one we've searched for sensor 1 we'll select it. Sensor 1 again I use the default settings and for temperature sensor 1. This isn't a meter station. And notice that all the other settings are grayed out for the Skatapak X70 because these are configured in Remote Connect, not in RealFlow, like used in some of the other Skatapak flow computers. So I'll now write the configuration. Write all the configuration settings. And let's update the readings. Note these messages will disappear as soon as we get our first update. There it is. I see the temperature varying and the current readings are fluctuating with those sensor readings. I'll save my real flow configuration now. This completes the configuration of the Skatapak 470 with the flow computer in this example. Let's recap what we have done. We began by creating a project in Remote Connect. In the project settings, we selected our controller type. And then most important, we checked off the enable box for the flow computer. If you forgot to check this, you can always go back to project settings and check it. We used the default DMP3 over USB connection. And then at the end, when the wizard finished, we could see that the supported applications were shown in this icon here. If needed, you could still configure communication ports, particularly if you're connecting to an MVT and you might want to select a different baud rate. Then we selected Go Online and depending on whether the security lock was enabled or whether you did a cold boot, you may be prompted for a security password. You can either define one or disable that requirement until later. Then we selected Write Configuration and saved the project. Then we moved to RealFlow. And in the PC communication settings, this was the only real difference with the X70 SCADA pack, is that if you select a USB connection, it actually uses a Modbus TCP connection in real flow to this uh, local address 10.2.3.4. And that was noted in the PC communication settings on this dialog. Then the creation of the flow configuration was done as usual, and we proceeded with a search for sensor 1. Up next, we'll look at remote connect settings that are configured automatically when RealFlow is enabled. And we'll look at a comparison of the Skatapak X70 to other Skatapak flow computers.